hi guys you're welcome to my channel this is eno if you're new here please kindly subscribe to this channel if you're a returning subscriber you know how to do it please like and share this video today i'm going to be teaching you how to draw my perfect eyebrows yeah so these are the basic things we'll be needing to draw our eyebrows your spoolie i don't know if you guys can see your spoolie your concealer two shades of concealer a lighter and a darker one your angle brush yeah your angle brush and your blending brush but before we kick start this video before i start drawing my eyebrows i would love to shape my brows first you can see it's a bit bushy i'll just have to take my tweezer to pluck out these new hairs that are sprouting out that i don't really need so let's start. So guys, we are done with shaping it, with plucking the strands of hairs. Oh, I forgot to include the brow pencil when i was listing out the basic things you need for drawing the brows this is very very important this is uh, a famous brow pencil this is davis i don't know if you can see this is davis yeah this is davis brow pencil number three yeah, this is what i'll be using so i'll just quickly sharpen it so guys before we start drawing our brows you need to make sure that you've shaped it and you carefully align it following the shape of your brows what you've already shaped okay i was actually explaining why making this video i didn't see the need to do a voiceover but then i realized that doing it the video will be too long so that's why i'm doing this voiceover so right now i'm basically just sketching my brows this very part is the most tricky part of it the brow bone area Okay, you can curve it down from here or you go forward a bit. Like I've gone forward a bit now and then I'm just carefully connecting it. Okay, I've connected it with the first one under that we drew before. So I'm basically just filling it now. So when you are filling, ensure that you don't feel the beginning too much. By that way, the beginning will look faded and not as thick or dark as the body and the tail of the brows so after that ensure that you brush it and while brushing you can brush it in and out or you brush in first then later you brush it out so i'm basically blending or brushing in and out so now i'm fading it The same thing I did here, that's what I'm going to do here. And when drawing, ensure that you look at the first one you've drawn so that they don't look different. So guys, for the other side of the brow, I've drawn under, just sketched it. okay i'll repeat the same thing i did here just go above it close to my natural brows so guys at this particular place the brow bone area you can either bring the line down to connect with the first one you've drawn under or you move forward a bit yeah just a little bit forward then you connect it to the under so now I'm basically just adding more to the beginning of the brow so that it will look like the first one we've drawn before. So now I'm brushing out. Okay, so this is it. So for my concealer, I'll be using my Zikel concealer in the shade Golden Beach. When concealing, I prefer starting from the brow bone area 
by doing this i get the shape that i actually want so after getting the um brow bone area i just connect it down to the beginning of the brow and after doing that ensure that you blend the concealer out because if you don't blend it out the concealer will dry up and it will be very difficult to blend later on so when you conceal blend it downwards blend it yeah after bringing it downwards, you can use your um, blending brush or your beauty blender to further blend it so it will be smooth As you are concealing, ensure that you are looking at the other side because the first one you've drawn is actually your model for the second one. Okay, as you can see, I'm basically looking at the first one I've drawn so that I don't end up with two different brows. Make sure that at the beginning they are looking the same. For the top of my brows, I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Found. I'm carefully following the shape of the brows that I drew before. This is why you must avoid drawing too big brows. Okay. So just go back with my blender brush. So guys, for the other side of my brow, I'm just taking my time here to carefully conceal it so that you see it very well. So there's no need to rush as a beginner. Take your time to draw it. Carefully follow the brow shape that you've drawn already. Okay, just go smoothly, carefully. When you get to the brow bone area, okay, you carefully follow it. Just go smoothly, gently. Now at that brow bone area, you just curve it down. If you are doing a curvy kind of eyebrow, but if it's uh, the archetype you have to draw an arc there with your angle brush and don't feel bad if you make any mistake okay there's always room for corrections so right now if you notice very well one side of the brow the tail is longer than the other so I just went back with my concealer the lighter shade of concealer that's Zekel So this is our finished look after drawing, concealing, and blending. Mm -hmm. I'm still loving the, the brows and I know you are too. Okay, from me to you, it's a goodbye. I appreciate your time so far. Thank you for watching. Don't you just love these brows? Please subscribe. Subscribe for the sake of those brows. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>